Hey, it's Dean DiMarzo here from Paul Effman Music, and today I want to talk about how a MIDI keyboard controller works. So you've heard me talk about MIDI controllers before. They're one of the most powerful parts of your studio. They let you play any sound you can think of and provide an incredible amount of control in the editing process. So let's talk about how they work and why they're so useful in the studio. So a MIDI controller is not like a digital piano. It doesn't make any sound. It doesn't have any sounds built into it. It can only control sounds in other devices. Sort of how your computer keyboard doesn't actually do anything on its own. It just controls the computer you have it plugged into. Every time you press a key, the MIDI controller sends a few messages. First is a note on message, which says which key you pressed and how hard you pressed it. This is how your computer knows to play louder or softer piano sounds. Next, when you release the note, it sends a note off message, saying that you're done playing the note and the computer should stop playing the sound. All kinds of other messages can be sent through MIDI as well, from pitch bending up and down, to controlling just about anything in your computer recording software. The MIDI controller can be connected to any number of sounds and synthesizers in your recording software, which means you have access to strings, trumpets, whole orchestras, synthesizers that'll let you create any sound you can imagine, all kinds of drums and sound effects, literally anything you'd need to make a song. This means you can produce an entire song using any instrument you can imagine without ever actually using anything but the MIDI controller. Also, the MIDI data that's recorded on your computer is still completely editable after you've recorded it. If you sing a wrong note or play something wrong on the guitar when you record it, you have to go back and fix that. Sure, auto-tune is a thing, but it's not perfect. You should really get it right at the source. MIDI data is like sheet music for your computer. You can edit it later note by note and make it all exactly what you want it to play in. This means that even if you're not a great keyboard player, you can make any performance you want happen with MIDI. Of course, there's some things you can't really do with MIDI yet. You can't really perform a singer singing words on the keyboard, and certain instruments like the electric guitar and saxophones still have a ways to go as far as recreating them in the computer. But for anything keyboard or synthesizer based, or any large ensembles like a string section or a whole orchestra, they're amazing. And they're really affordable. I personally recommend the M Audio Keystation 49. Uh, I have an M Audio Code 49 here, which is sort of the big brother of that keyboard. But I have a key station as well that I use for live performances, and it's fantastic. That's the one I recommend to all my beginning recording students when they're ready to buy a MIDI controller. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more videos like this one, where we'll be talking about music production and home recording.